Hi, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make this pop tab clutch purse. It's made from 150 pop tabs, so get collecting. Okay, so first of all, you take the yarn and you make a slip knot. This is to put on your crochet hook because we're going to crochet this together. Okay, so you put the hook through just like that. And you grab your first pop tab. You want it facing you so you can't see the back and you just go through the first hole grab the yarn pull it through so you've got two loops on the um, hook so you grab it pull it through and then you grab the yarn again and pull it through both hook loops like that that's a basic stitch and you'll do that again this is um Pretty much there's only like about two stitches I use in this, so that's pretty simple. Okay, so you do that three times. And then that's you're done for the first stitch. And then now you grab the yarn again and just pull it through that single loop that you've got. You do this four times. This is so you can attach the next uh, pop tab. Now you want to flip the pop tab over so now you can see the back. And um the loops you just done are at the bottom and you want to grab another pop tab and this one's got to be facing you again so basically both the fronts are facing each other okay so just place it on top like that then you go through the first hole on both of them grab the yarn pull it through and grab the yarn again and pull it through both loops, basically like the stitch you just done. Okay, and then you do that again three times. So you pull it through. So that's all you need to know for this. Three, four, three, four. So it's like three of these stitches. And then again four of the single stitches. Now you want twenty-five of these together and um, so basically you just keep doing this until you've got 25 all lined up okay the more you do this the um, quicker you'll get at it it does seem kind of fiddly at first but once you get the hang of it you'll be doing it at no, in, no, in no time okay so as you can see I still get a bit fiddly with this <laughs> Now I've only used four just to basically show you how to do it, but like I say, you need 25 in each row and you need six rows. Okay, so when you get to the last one and you've done the four extra stitches, you just basically do the three normal stitches, but without attaching it to another pop tab. Okay, so you do the first, second, and third. And now we've got to um, attach the bottom holes together. So you go into the next hole, you do the same stitches. Again, you do three of them. So that's one, two. The best thread to use is this, this is nylon thread, but I'm just using wool, which can be acceptable as well. Okay, so once you get here, you want to do the four single stitches. And then we'll start going back on ourselves. So you just turn it around. You fold it over so the two pop tabs that are next to each other, you want those again facing each other. And then just do the normal three stitches again. You might find that um, going back after you've done the first side is actually a bit easier. I don't know why I do. And I also have to apologise for that, this camera does go blurry a few times in this video. Okay, so then you just do the four stitches. Then move on to the next one. Then do another three stitches. I say you do this all the way to the end. Okay, so once you've got to the end, again you do the four stitches, and then 
the odd three just on that single end one and then you're halfway to finishing this line like I say you need six of these okay so once you've done that third one you just cut off the excess and then pull the yarn through that hoop then you can just tie it off to the first bit that you left just do a double knot and then you have done that section ok now we've got the basic bit done you need to make it a bit more chunky at the sides so you need to make it a bit more like this one so you need to build up the sides a bit more it gets a bit repetitive but you get the hang of it ok so once you've got your yarn you just go underneath that bit that you crocheted before and you pull the, the yarn through and hook it pull it through both hoops and do just three single um, stitches and then you wrap this time you wrap the yarn around the hook and then go underneath the yarn beforehand grab it again pull it through and now you've got three hoops on your needle and then you grab the yarn again and just pull it through the first two and then you've got two left and then you grab it again and put it through the second two sorry I can't explain that very well hopefully you can see though so as you can see it pulls through the first two and you grab it again pull it through the second two okay you want to do this three times as everything happens in threes and fours on this <laughs> once you've done it three times you move on to the next pop tab so you hook it go underneath I can <laughs> hook it again, pull it through, got the three hoops, and pull it through the two twice. Yeah, I'm really sorry if that confused you. I confused myself. Again, I'm not very good at explaining things, so hopefully you can see what's going on. This camera don't go blurry again. <laughs> yes, yeah, so basically you just want to do three in each one, going all the way to the end. And then you have to do that coming back as well. Okay, so just keep going. Again, this does get a bit repetitive, but it gets easier as you do it. You might want to do this over a couple of days because if you just do all this in one go, it might end up hurting your wrists. Okay, so just do it all the way along. Once you get to the end, you've done your three. Now, in the only in the last one, you want to go and do it again, so you've got four stitches on that. So you do exactly the same, it's just this time you got four. And then you want to do three of the single stitches, so you just go up in a straight line, two, three, and then you flip the whole thing over, so now we can see the front. And then the stitches you were just doing, you want to do them again here, so you loop it around the hook. And then you want to go in between the stitches you've already done. So there should be a gap in between the stitches. Like a little hole. Like that. And then, so you hook it. And then you go through that hole. Then grab the yarn. Pull it through so you've got the three hoops. Grab the yarn again. Go through the first two. And then grab the yarn again and pull it through the second two. And you do that through that same between each of the stitches. So every time there's a stitch next to it, there should be a hole. And you'll go through that. And this bit builds up the sides. Okay, so even between the pop tabs, that hole there, you still have to go through that. Hopefully by this time you should be used to it and you should get a nice rhythm going. <laughs> Yep, 
So you just do all that to the end. Okay, after that awkward silence. <laughs> yeah, once you get to the end, you just have to go through the stitch you've just done without putting anything on it, like winding around or anything. Then just grab the um, yarn, pull it through. So you just got two hoops on there this time. Grab it again and pull it through. And then you want to go to the original stitch that you've done and do the same once just the same what you just did but twice through that one so you just go straight through the hole grab the yarn pull it through grab the yarn again and pull it through both hoops and then you just want to cut the end off before the um, knot and then pull the rest of the yarn through and then you just want to tie that off with the first bit of yarn you left so again, just do a double knot or triple knot, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Okay, and then you just do the exact same on the bottom half as well. It works exactly the same, same stitches, shouldn't look any different. Okay, 